I think there's a boss that needs to die. A familiar voice can be heard. Is this? Yep, looks like the Sky Bandit boss's room. Eavesdrop, then raid the room. Bah, so the queen's gonna pay out the ransom, is she? Now we can finally say goodbye to this meager living. Don't get careless, bro. We haven't got the money in the hand yet. Yeah, we'll need to decide on a plan on how to let the hostages go. Let the hostages go? Now hold on a minute. Why do we have to bother with that? Yeah, but once we get our mirror, we'll just kill them all and be done with it. We have no need to leave them alive. Fun? You're joking, right? They know exactly what we look like, remember? Even if we left liberal for good, we could still be tracked, right? There are old people and kids among them. Do you really intend to kill them all? I swear, no matter how old you get, you never grow up. This isn't playtime, get it? But I... I'm sorry to say this, bro, but I'm against killing the hostages, too. Ideos will never forgive us if we do that. And I don't want to get our home back with Mira stained in the blood of innocent people. Kyle, since when did you become the boss around here? Huh? I think it's about time you learned your place. God, she he threw a bottle at him. <laughs> Shit, okay. Kyle. Uh, who cares about your old home? With this kind of mirror coming in, what could you possibly want with your old, worthless land? <sighs> We're gonna blow all this cash somewhere near the southern resort and enjoy the good life for a while. What'd you say? And once you run out of mirror, we'll just go hijack another airship. This is gonna be the future of the Capua Sky Bandits. Capua Hot Sky Bandits. Wah ha 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 ha. Now, what happened to you? What an idea's name has happened to you? Sorry to interrupt, but could you have your little family feud later? You again? Racers? But why are you here? How can you say something so heartless, especially after you gave us a lift here in your own airship? Impossible, what are you talking about? It can't be. You had your airship sitting in front of Amberl Tower, right? We just slipped in when you weren't looking and hid in the cargo hull. In other words, we stole a ride from a bandit. Ha, <laughs> take that. Or a dimwit, you really outdone yourself this time. Who are you calling a dimwit? Just said, and it's all got beef. Oh snap. You you two-faced tomboy? Well, it's just like uh, I still was really still heard about the whole we could have been friends thing. What'd you just call me? You bimbo airhead brute? Just try to try just try and say that again. Alright, alright, enough of the bickering between you two. We've liberated the hostages and defeated the other members of your group. So it looks like all that's left is you three. In accordance with the laws of the Bracers Guild, you're hereby placed under arrest. It would be best not to resist. Man, crap. Kyle, Giuseppe? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Don. Oh, that's okay. I'll just I'll forgive you just this once. Once I kill them, that'll be all. That'll be that. What? Oh, what a bunch of fools you are. To think that with that pitiful number of people that you could ever capture Don Capua. He's got what appears to be a grenade launcher. <laughs> ah, look how effortlessly he handles that horrible cannon. Kyle just said it's time to hunt some game, and I like my sport bloody. Alright, so we get first turn. Let's see how they feel. Still quite... Fire sensitive, so who's gonna be the most annoying one? Jeez. He's got a lot of power, so he's gonna be last, obviously. Kyle's got 9, 12, he's gonna be probably the most attacking. I bet she would be the most annoying one. Oh yeah, Kyle and his fucking bombs, I forgot about that. Let's do that. And yeah, we'll hit just set. Yeah, no missing. Oh, 
There we go. Doing such damage. And AoE. I probably should have done his first. Ouch. Hate you. <laughs> Ouchies. Okay. So we can. Uh, let's see. How much hit points do you have left? Twenty two. I think we can do some one. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and. It's a minute before he gets a turn, so let's uh, heal somebody. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. And we have the ability to... It's a tight window. Was for turn gas an enemy. No. We could heal him. That seems like the wrong decision to make. No spirit left for that. It's the most powerful thing we could do here. Physical attack would be all right. And it spread us out a little bit. Which I think is probably important. Yep, just as I thought. I don't know what that status is. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's see, so... Sure, you do that on yourself. Oh, nice. We're up on the strap then. Set him with the airstrike, see if he cares about that. 165, that didn't feel good. That flavor was nasty. Got a good attack. Trying to Casper in him again. Yeah, let's, let's hear. I'm glad I couldn't friendly heal him because he totally ran right up in the spot. Let's have another airstrike. He didn't like that at all. Dual strike him. And in space. Down you go. Simple work. Ooh, all them reds. These guys are tough. So this is the strength of a bracer, huh? How can I lose to this girl? And that's how it's done. Have you learned your lesson yet? 
Now that this has been settled, I'm going to ask you to surrender nicely. Any more trouble like you and well, you know what'll happen, right? Shares our stroked her whip and smiled at just set. Yikes, no, anything but that. Why me? Why do I have to go down like this? Um Uh, what's going on? I heard all over. And when did I get an orbital cannon? What the heck? Bro? Don? Oh, just said, are you back from Relent already? If you're back this quickly, then I guess it didn't work out, huh? Huh? Ah, don't try and cover it up. If you've had enough, then how about leaving the bread winning to us men? We probably won't be able to earn a whole lot, but be patient. Don, what are you talking about? Did you hit your head, bro? Jacette came back from rent like forever ago. I went to pick her up right after we attacked the airliner. What? Attacked an airliner? What's all this crazy talk? We'd never do something like that. What is this guy talking about? I don't think he's trying to cover his butt. I think he really doesn't know. Come to think of it, who are these strangers? Don't tell me they're new recruits. Sorry to bust your bubble, but we're not. We're with the Bracer Guild. Huh? What are a bunch of braces doing up here? This guy's completely lost in his marbles. Ah, uh, what an interesting turn of events. Whether you've forgotten or not, you're still under arrest. You're charged with hijacking an airliner, hostage shaking, demanding a ransom, and other such offenses. Hijacking an airliner, hostage taking, and demanding a ransom? Kyle just said to tell me what th that this is kind of some kind of joke. Don, I think that's my line, but thanks to you, bro, we've got a chance to escape. Not again. Oh hell, not again. Hey, Kyle. We'll talk about this later. Let's focus on getting out of here. Cough, cough. I'm a cough. Never going to cough, cough. Get to smell this out of my cough hair. Let's hurry and get out of this room. Wow, really, you guys? Which way did they go? They went up. They're going to try escape their airship. Ah. After tracking them this far, we can't let them get away. We've got to catch them. Right. Understood. Kafka well, made it out alive. Oh, what a tragedy this has become. My delicate nasal cavity. Hey, Oliver, you better hurry. We're going to leave you behind. Well, wait for me. Well, that blows. Oops. Should have done this one. Oh, well. The other video secured. Okay, let's get up there. Can we uh, heal up a little bit, though? Yeah, we're pretty on point. Oh, 200. Don't let them escape. Let's run this weirdly long path all the way back. Oh my god, really? Lonnie, hold it right there, you. You're not getting past us. You guys are back for more after taking a righteous beating like that? Well, that's what I call tough. <laughs> If you don't want to move, then we're just going to force our way through. Why do they have to make this so difficult? Oh, bad time for a miss. So much damage. the red and all but kind of sick of fighting those guys oh he's over my power hmm. 
three. That's good enough. Another save. Have anything in your wallet or something? Uh, nope. Oh, son of a bitch. Yep, let's just do it. Oh wow, level up. It's been a while since I heard that sound. Tender poultry. Don't think you're going any further. Roscoe, to the hostage and go. It's your back for more, huh? What will you learn? What are you trying to do? Buy time for your leaders to escape? <laughs> They've done a lot for us over the years. Now it's time to return the favor. Strength up means dual strike. Shoot that fucker in the face. Bam. Let's go. Oh. Swing and a miss. Dropped his marbles right in the spot. Good to go. More red. Got some loyal soldiers with him, man. I need like people like that around me in real life. Oh, I shouldn't have. Dang. If I rush to escape this place, I seem to have miscalculated. Joshua learned taunt. That's probably not necessary. And let me guess, another gang of uh, boys are going to be up here.
Crap, looks like we got company. Don't think you're gonna walk out of here the same way you came in. All we need to do is buy some time for Don. Colin just set to escape. Trying to shield your masters to the bitter end, huh? Though it's a ridiculous thing to do, your spirit is admirable. Then I wonder if being them into the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down. Well, this would been a rough one if uh, you weren't prepared for it. There's like a lot going on. There. Finish him. Cold blur. And I'll save it. And you can probably flicker through like everybody. Come on. Self and whip, like we always do. And just shoot you in the fucking face again and again and again. Level up. We definitely have to heal now again. Give me 300. Save it up again, let's keep going. Oops, didn't see you there, bud. Uh, no, don't run. Yep, run. There's so many of them, dude. Like, it's just an annoyance at this point. All right, here we go. Oh, look who came. Huh? What's this? How the army find out about this place? That liar, things weren't supposed to go down like this. Hey, get your dirty mitts off me. Hey, what's going on here? So those are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits. I'm surprised there's such a young woman too. How about you shut your gap and start taking some good pictures? What a chance to get another scoop like this. So how about it, Niall? Is it this enough to help you write a decent article? You bet it is. I'm really grateful that you took us along. Oh, and would you mind if we took a picture of you while we're at it? Hmm, what do you think, General Morgan? Do as you like. This plan was success thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this is just the result of the accuracy of the Intelligence Division's analysis. And thanks to the cooperation of those of you standing over there. What? Oh, uh, what are you guys... I mean, how the heck... What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey, look, it's a stolen Joshua. Racers, why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you we infiltrate this place one step ahead of you again, and the entire hideout has been subdued. We chase the fleeing Sky Bandits leaders up this way, but I never would have guessed that the Royal Army's patrol ships will be waiting. Here, once again, you overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strikers saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we be in, in turn recognize their achievements? Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return to the ship and see what information I can get out of those sky bandits. Very well, General. That old man's stubborn as ever. He's not a bad person. He just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, there are other sky bandits. In th Where are the other sky bandits and hostages? The other lackeys should be just lying all over the place unconscious. And as for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they're imprisoned in. I see. You've done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the hostages and cargo to us. Let's move, Captain Amalth Amalthia. Yes, Colonel. Uh, wait for me, Colonel. 
I'd really like to interview your, the, you kids, but this time the colonel is top priority. But if you have another opportunity, I appreciate doing one with you too. See you later, Estelle. Joshua. Well, that turned it out interestingly. My, my, my. You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen just like that. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The bracer's role has always been that of the unsung hero. So there's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah. That always made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Ah, where is Dad? And I guess that's the one problem we've still got to figure out. Where is Dad now? What is he doing? Why hasn't he tried to contact us? Um, it looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to the boats and report what happened with the incident. We'll try to figure out what to do about your dad after that. I really pray I appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory. So I don't know if we can exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I would don't know if the army raid would have been so successful. I can tell corners they were the sky bandits may very well have harmed the hostages. Agreed, everything worked out because your infiltration you infiltrated their hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. You really think so, T? It's sure that the hostages were free and the sky bandits arrested. But it's a bit vexing to know that there are still unanswered qu some unanswered questions left. The men that appeared in Valeria like sure the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits. I think we should consider that there's a lot behind the sense that, that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll have to leave that part to the Royal Army to figure out. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's not really much there's really not much left we can do. Anyway, we should go just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? Of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Oliver. I just hope that my work was worth the price of that grand chardonnay. Yes, in fact, there was a char change to spare. Hope you all, hope we all have a wonderful day. And if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again. Good day. Wow, that nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused much more confusion. It's probably unnatural that the mayor is happy as she is. And now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of the other people. If you say so. I think it's safe to say that you're no longer Greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. T, you think so? At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. Woo! G bracer 6 class. Yay! We're fifth class bracers now. We got a haze. Here's the pay the mayor is talking about. It's a very nice sum. And this is from me. Isn't this a recommendation from the Bose branch? It is alright to give us the is it alright to give this to us so soon? Of course, it would be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Lugrin. We work hard so that we don't bring any embarrassment on this recommendation. Ah, great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sure. You're probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yeah, it's definitely not like him. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner and Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Aren't you that receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits, and among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that. But wait a minute, why is there something addressed to this Bracer bran this branch when the airliner left the bows to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Relent branch, but aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? Oh. What? That's us, but... Oh, perfect. We contacted the Relent branch and they said you'd come here. Here you are. This is the parcel. Estelle was given both the letter and parcel. This letter, yep, it's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Relent Branch. It seems as if he scribbled it off, scribbled it out before he got off the airliner. I guess Dad did intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh, well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad too. 
No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. Okay, my business here is done, so I'll be on my way. Oh. Oh, and one other thing. Good job in helping arrest those sky bandits. You boys are sure to do excellent work. And to think that a clue about your father would have mixed in with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you'd like. Thanks, Lugren. Oh, well then, let's look at the content, shall we? Do you mind telling me what you're still doing here? It's just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. Why did your father disembark the airliner prior to his departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer? The question was thick in my mind, so I'd never be able to sleep at night. And you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel can you be to a companion who has traveled alongside you? And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout, I wonder. Alright already. You're a rather obnoxious, a rather obnoxious fellow, I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we, we may have to ask you to leave, okay? Oh, of course I understand. Alright, let's see what he has to say. I still started by cutting the letter seal. <clears throat> Dear Estelle and Joshua, I'm sure you, you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I, take each one, take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, it turns out that I've had a little trouble with my own work, and unfortunately it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did, but you should be grown up enough not to be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave it up to both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roulette, or you're free to pursue qualifying as Senior Bracer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sherazard and Aina. Cassius Bright. That seems like the type of letter your father would write. It touches lightly on things, but it's full of consideration towards the both of you. Yeah. It looks that way. The Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep, it's about two or three months away, which means this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what's he up to, what he's up to. Forget about that, and let's focus on what's in that package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty cur curious myself, but we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know. That's true. Oliver. Don't coax us all into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Actually, though, Oliver does have a good point. Instead of leaving it until our dad comes home, it might be worth looking into. Okay, let's check it out. She was easy to convince. Estelle opened the parcel from the unknown sender. Inside was a shiny, black, hemispherical device. Also enclosed a single memo with the item. What's this supposed to be? It's an orb man, although I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item the aforesaid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find the opportunity. Okay. Uh, that's it? Yep, it looks like the center didn't write anything else. Shara, do you have an idea who K or Professor R might be? Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be foreigners too. If this is the only thing we've got to go on, then honestly I'm about to ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black orb man anyway? In the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle orb man. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle orb man has slots in which to install quartz, but this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact? An artifact? Precisely, an artifact is an orbament created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models for all orbaments produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septian Church has custody over them. They're, the type of, they're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. It looks like to me like it was made recently. You're right about that. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Jeez, now look what's happened. Jeez, now look at what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad. Doesn't he know that we're all worried about him? 
style. Now he's getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender. What in the world has my dad gotten himself into this time? Estelle. You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? Huh? Joshua? That's what Dad wrote in his letter, right? He said, Or oh, you're free to pursue qualifying as senior bracers. Yeah, he did say that, but we've already managed to get your recommendations from Relent and Bows, right? All that stuff is Ruin, Zeiss, and Grenzel. Only those three. If we do our jobs as we travel around to these other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is or what he's doing. I think we're just worrying ourselves for nothing considering Dad's skills. And there's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. I think getting off our own duffs is a lot better than just sitting around and waiting. And we just might be able to find this Professor R2. Um, Joshua? What? You're a genius. Estelle, what are you talking about? This is like killing two birds with one stone, or maybe even ten. Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. So should I consider that a yes? Oh, it is. Ever. Yes, yes, triple yes. Trained to be a senior braces as we travel around liberal, and exposing what no good middle-aged man has been doing in the process. Um, I think you're still missing the point. <laughs> it looks like she's back to her old self. I guess it's settled then. Well, take care. I'm going to back, head back to Relent now. Oh, sure. That said, I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want to come along? Give it a rest, Sherry. We'll be fine. This, the whole reason we're going on this trip is because we just become senior bracers. We wouldn't be training more if you came with us. And if you didn't go back, the Relent branch would have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. Well, if you insist, it's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for a senior bracer status, so don't overdo it. And if you run into any trouble, contact the Relent branch, you got it? I'll come running no matter where you are. Sure, thanks, Shara. And the same goes for you. Don't get yourself too liquored up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, alright, alright, I'll watch the number of drinks. Uh, never fear, dear children. You can count on me to protect fair Shara. And why are you headed to Relent? Not to mention with Shara. That's because I've tasted all there is to taste of the local dishes here in Bose. And I thought it was about time I turned my attention towards their nether region. As for Relent's cuisine, I've heard the produce is just to die for, so that's what I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant and some lovely vegetables or some nonsense. Or some such nonsense. Since he's so persistent, I'll agree to him coming along under the condition that he'd go drinking with me at the bar. We'll never see him alive again. Oliver, I really hope you understand what you've promised her. Ha, I could die for the likes of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many agonized hours of consideration, I've decided to accompany Fair Sherazard instead. I think I'll be better off without, with you a safe distance away from me. Well, have fun, but I'm warning you. Don't you dare make any trouble in relent, you hear me? And here's another piece of advice. When Sherazard's at the bar, watch out. That's when the gloves come off. I'm seriously not joking when I say you should beware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle, and besides, Aina's coming along too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you. The gloves come off, huh? Is that perchance what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes, Estelle said it's best said it best though. It was nice knowing you. Yes, it was a pleasure. Huh? The relent bound airliner will be departing shortly. All passengers please board their ship now. Well, Lolly boy, looks like it's time for us to leave. Come on now, we better hurry and get on. Sure, wait, can't we talk this over? I'd really appreciate it if I had just a little more time to think things through. Surely you're not getting cold feet already. If you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like a ninny. Eek! See you later, Shara. Give our regards to everyone in Roulette. A wonderful trip, you two. A wonderful trip indeed. That's the end of chapter one. Disappearance of the Lind. Achievement achieved. That's love and peace, baby. Thanks, team.
And that's a wrap. We're going to stop it here. <laughs> chapter 1 is complete. I'm excited. Chapter 2. And of course, of course, of course, everyone, thank you for joining me on this journey through the trials. This is the first game. We got so much more to go. I'm just really excited to see where the story's going to go. So, again, I thank you for joining me in it. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you next time in Chapter 2.